What up, pilots? Let's talk about the radar and the F-14 Tomcat. First, manual engine control. There's no oil radiator in the Tomcat, and for jets, oil radiator is all you usually get, but Tomcats don't have oil radiator, so we don't need to worry about it. Trim, you will not need trim. We're not going to be carrying a huge payload here. We're just going to show, I'm just going to show you how to use the radar properly. Wing sweep. We're going to put our wing sweep in um, semi-automatic. Then we're going to put our wings fully forward at 0%. And then we're going to go back to, to auto. And when we do that, when we go to auto, it depending on our speed and our velocity, it, our wings will move up and down by themselves automatically. And then when us putting our wing sweep at zero, all the way forward, if we get into a dogfight situation, you're going to want to dogfight with your wings all the way out so you get more maneuverability. So if we get into a situation, or if you get into a situation where you have to start dog, uh, dog fighting in your Tomcat, just make sure to put your wings all the way fully forward, and then that's when you can start dog fighting. You're more maneuverable that way. Alright, next, your radar binds. So right here is where your radar is. It's under weaponry. This is turn on and off the radar. This is switching between your radar and your IRST if you have one. IRST stands for infrared search track. This is changing the mode, your radar mode or your IRST mode if you have multiple modes. This is air combat maneuvering mode or ACM lock. Do not use ACM lock to uh, lock targets. You can lock friendlies and you can shoot friendlies down. You got something in front of you, you're not sure, uh, you see the dot, you want to lock it up, you shoot a missile at it but it was friendly. Don't do that. There's a lot of team kill going on right now because people don't know how to use their damn radar. Um, this one here that's highlighted, that is the the width that your radar searches from left to right, how wide it searches. Next is the range, how far it searches. Next is switching targets on your TWS or your track while scan mode and then next is locking up enemies on your radar All right, so first let's go ahead and spool up So SAS mode Remember, manual control means you're slightly more maneuverable, but you're also a little less stable. Damping, in, uh, damping is opposite of that, so it's uh, slightly less maneuverable, but a little bit more stable. Let's turn our radar on here. Now we're going to lock up this F5E in front of us with our ACM mode, and I'll show you, show you what it does. So we know for sure that that's a friendly. 180, 190 knots, slowly pull up on the stick, gear up, flaps up. Alright. All right, so we locked up that friendly in front of us. We got him locked up now. I could sh I could shoot a Fox 1 at him right now if I wanted to. Do not use ACM mode, which is what I was doing there, to lock up targets. You can lock up friendlies. All right. 
So now we're gonna switch to TWS mode, which is the mode that you're gonna be wanting that you're gonna to want to be in the most while you're in your Tomcat. If you have TWS mode, take advantage of it because uh, hostiles don't know that your radar is scanning. We're gonna get some distance from the battle here so I can show you how to use TWS. We're also gonna get some altitude as well. If you're doing beyond visual range combat, BVR, please be at least higher than treetop. At least at least ten thousand, at the least. Five thousand, ten thousand. If you really want to make an impression, be up at 30. Alright. We got some distance. Let's turn around here. Alright, so we're all the way turned around. We're looking at the battle. We have... A couple enemies. Let's shoot it. Let's shoot a phoenix at this guy. So we're in TWS, we got our phoenixes selected, all you gotta do is spool up the missile. Wait a second. Fox 3. So the one that we have selected is you could see the on the radar the one basically right in the middle. Missile just went pitbull. That's how you shoot a Phoenix in TWS mode. So that missile went pitbull, so we're gonna switch to search pulse doppler head on and then we're gonna shoot a Fox 1. Now that we're in search pulse Doppler head on, our radar is going to be letting other RWRs know, radar warning receivers know that they're getting pinged. So that's why you want to use track while scan because track while scan does not let radar warning receivers know that they're being pinged. Gonna gain more distance from the battle here. All right, now we're gonna just pull straight up. There we go. There's something. Switch to aim sevens. So on our radar, this is our width, and this is our length. We're changing our length from 6 miles, 12 miles, 23 miles, 58, 115, 230 miles. I normally stay between 23 miles and 58 miles. There we go, there's, a, there's an enemy there, way out there. He's about 20 miles out. The closer he gets to the radar, the bottom of the, the the base of the radar wedge, the closer he is. So right now we're searching at 23 miles, which means he's about two th or about three three quarters up. So he's probably about he's probably at about 11 miles now, halfway. But he is within Fox One range, so. Fox 1. Now we have to keep him locked on our radar to make sure the missile can track him. Missile missed, but that's all that's how you shoot Fox 1s. Our Phoenix missed too, so so yeah, there you go, there's the Tomcat radar, that's how you switch between modes, it's the radar bindings that you'll need. The enemy is winning. 
No manual engine control, no oil radiators that you need to worry about. There you go. See you in the next one.